for this edgy escapade and explicit entrance into your elegant and entertaining episode. As an executor, endow me this exercise and exploration in erratic evocation as I elicit and elucidate to you the elephant in the equation. We are in a very sorry era of education and ergo. I must explain this encyclical editorial and eclipse the egotistical enfranchisement of the equitable entourage entrenched and entombed expressly in our extemporaneous excuse of an education system. Before I continue my errors in education, with exception, may I eke out an endorsement of myself? Please call me E. Now, I will elbow in an elaborate encounter with a student, entitled Edward, just on the edge of 18. For ease, we will call him Ed. An energetic, eccentric extrovert of endearing enthusiasm with an enigmatic epigee, of which there is no epigone. His mind emits eloquence equal to the eyes of an eagle, yet erratum elusive in a feat. So tough to extricate energy and errantly enchain effective elements of experience and exemplary ethos in education. That evaded examinations and essays with an ecumenical embargo and evoked erroneous evaluations and encore. Yet, an egg evolved an elan and enjoyment in a certain earthly endeavor. Enter welding. This eruption of epinephrine as earnest endorphins emanated in an engine of equipment in a raptured young Ed. What emerged was a euphoric and emphatic future. As an elder, I was elated, jubilant and ecstatic as Ed expertly earned a new encouraging eternity in employment. But to the education system, Ed was expendable. An enemy in an exile, enclosed and entrapped in an ensnaring euphemism of educational emulsion. Ed was extinguished ambers, eroded with ennui. Efficiently exalted and elevated to emulate empowering emission, yet ethically and exaggeratedly an example of exanimate exception. And he was expelled and expropriated extended at his own expense. And trust me, I am but an envoy of enlightenment to enumerate an environment of edict and elections, echoing edentulous editorials effusing eerie ecocide and ecrine economic embezzlements with an epispastic entropy. This epidemic entails an equiponderate, an epicedium and epilogue of elimination of the enteritis of entangled entrails and an eradication and erasure of excess excrement. An enema. We must excommunicate this excruciating illicit establishment everywhere. Education need not be an ecclesiastical elopement of encryption and enfeeble enchantments. The endemic must end and empathy encumber everyone in our endless enfolding and epic future. Education could easily be the effervescent extension and echelon, enamored and enmeshed in mass with excellence in all elastic emotions and exquisite expeditions. It must exemplify the esoteric exogenesis of extracurricular and extraordinary ecologies. Enacted and encased in an enamel emollient in every esteemed essence, therefore emancipating the enslaved and embroidering our present existence. Escape this eschatology, and evade the Etesian and everlasting epoxy and rooted and enshrined in our evil, exasperating enterprise, and enter into our equinox of exploration and exotic extrinsic explosions with extemporaneous experiments, exulting in our exuberant estuary as we exuviate in an endless and emergent existence. Eventually, we must erect equality among electives and elapse from this exsanguinating extension of exhausting epilepsy. We must exhume this exigent exposure and exhort extreme entrepreneurship and enunciate and do and envelop equilibrium, engendering and engineering education to engross, espouse and engulf all, 
especially those in treating in errant envy elsewhere in educational affluence. The excluded in our excogitated educational system. Education either expands extraordinarily in extravagance and extension, or earth expungeden, therefore editing our Elysium into an expanse of emotionless empery and enmity, erasing the emetic emplacements and enabling the epoch and extermination of expression in our epitome of eponymous epistemology.